Multi-pad hydrostatic radial bearings utilize pressurized oil to support the mill structure, allowing even the heaviest grinding mills to float on an oil film with minimal friction. The bearings are manufactured with either a bronze or polymer bearing surface, and they do not require regular maintenance and inspections. Design of the bearing and its housing allows easy removal and replacement of the bearings, even when the mill charge remains inside the mill. This allows downtime to be minimized. This animation offers an overview of the bearing removal process for a housing containing two radial bearings. For further details, refer to the Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual provided by Ototech, or contact your local Ototech representative for more information. Before beginning work on the bearings, make sure the mill charge is stable and that the drivetrain and hydraulic systems are isolated according to site-specific safety requirements. Removal or inspection of the mill bearings must only be carried out at one end of the mill at a time. Prepare safe access to the mill and bearing housings and clean the maintenance panels and surrounding areas to prevent contamination from entering the housing. Remove the maintenance panels to access the hydrostatic bearings and the hydraulic jack located inside the housing. Connect the provided hydraulic hand pump to the jack with the quick connect couplings. Lift one end of the mill with the jack until there is a one to two millimeter clearance between the bearing pads and the journal surface. Make sure the jack's piston is secure using the locking rings or locking nut. Release the pressure from the jack and make sure the mill is supported on the locking rings and not the mill bearings. The bearings can now be prepared for removal. Disconnect the hydraulic hoses and all instrumentation from the bearing. Remove the outer locking block, shim pack, and pedestal fasteners. Attach the service bracket to the side of the bearing housing and ensure the guide rails are level and aligned with the pedestal. Using a chain block or similar, pull the pedestal with the bearing attached out of the bearing housing onto the service bracket. The bearing is now ready for inspection or additional steps can be taken to remove the bearing from the pedestal for replacement. The bearings are refitted by following these steps in reverse. The bearing's self-aligning capability means no further adjustments are needed. Ototech's multi-pad hydrostatic radial bearing and housing design allows the safe replacement and recommissioning of a mill's bearings in less than 24 hours under breakdown conditions. <laughs>